Wow. Well, you listen to the, the, yeah. the heavy breathing there too. You can feel that viscerally. Yes, uh, you can. Especially if you have kids of your own, you can just okay, understand the anguish kids. there. It looks like this is a, a, a separate building there next to the football field. Like uh, where we see facility or something. Yeah, and uh, so the kids finally uh, starting to come out uh, of this uh, campus. Uh, and uh, I would imagine then that that's where they sent that bus yeah. uh, that was parked there for quite some time in front of the school and we didn't see anybody come out and get on it and then that bus moved up into this area. Uh, so I would imagine it is parked just on the other side of the building there that we cannot see, uh, but it is very reassuring yes. uh, once we finally get to this point uh, where we're able to see these students being uh, marched out in, in a single file line there and uh, put onto buses so that they can get out of there and go reunite with their parents at the Performing Arts Center there uh, in Arlington and uh, begin the, the healing process. Uh, and again, even if you know nothing physical happened to them, uh, this is a, an absolutely horrible draining thing emotionally. It's methodical, uh evacuation of the building right now. We do have word from um, the school district. The all clear has been given at Timberview High School and Mansfield ISD's reunification process for those families has been solidified. Students are being safely escorted right now in buses and we can see that with our own eyes. Timberview High School and early college high school parents and guardians are being asked to pick up their students at the Mansfield ISD Center for the Performing Arts okay. located at 1100 110 West Debbie Lane in Mansfield. Scoop Jefferson, that's where he is. Uh, Scoop, they're loading up the buses and they should be uh, coming your way, it appears, shortly. Okay, yeah, I'd like to give you an update on what's happening here at the Center for Performing Arts. The Mansfield Police, um, they're now staging their mobile command unit in the parking lot here, uh, and several more officers have shown up here as well. This is where they will release uh, officially release the students to their parents. Now, as you could imagine, as a school district, they first want to give account for every single student. Uh, so this isn't just a matter of run up, grab your kids and jump in the car and go home. Uh, they have to actually make sure that they're releasing each student to, uh, you know, to their parents uh, officially as if this were uh, a regular school day, which we know that, you know, this, this has turned out to be something totally different. Uh, we have also uh, have Mansfield firefighters who also serve as paramedics uh, here at the Performing Arts Center. As you could imagine, as you talked about how emotional this is earlier, uh, as you could imagine, this um, uh, sometimes can cause a lot of stress, uh, not only on the students, but the parents as well. So the paramedics are here on standby uh, just in case. We have a lot more officers here in the parking lot as well who will assist with the um, with the release of the students. Uh, the parents are waiting outside. Some of them have their other children with them, uh, with the students, and most of the students waiting inside, the ones who have already arrived here at the Performing Arts Center. And as you can imagine, if there were students already here, those students will probably more likely be released to their parents as well uh, as the school day has been interrupted. Uh, a very organized situation here. Um, a lot of, um, you know, the police have done a great job in, in controlling the traffic here. Uh, hundreds of cars lined up uh, out on the road uh, mixed with, you know, regular traffic. Uh, so they're asking, obviously, for parents to cooperate as they uh, reunite them with their students here at the Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, all right, Scoop Jefferson there uh, with the parent reunification process, and we say process because uh, thanks, Scoop, for that. We, we know that this is probably going to take quite a while when we talk about, again, uh, enrollment there at the school being almost 1,900 students, and uh, they're going to have to, you know, as they went through that building methodically, then the process to reunite with parents is also a methodical one uh, and should take some time.